We did our first batch with asparagus, turned out amazing. So I'm gonna try candy. I've seen and tried and heard all this stuff and candy supposedly is pretty easy. So worst case scenario is candy, it's fairly cheap, right? So here's what we're gonna do. I got a tray of Skittles. Do, 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 do. Okay, go in there. I don't know what this, what is it? There we go. There's like a screw or something there. I'm not sure on the spacing. This is saltwater taffy. We'll see. I, I'm not sure quite how far it needs to be spaced. I know they puff up pretty big, so I didn't want to have them too close. Come on. There we go. And then Tootsie Rolls. Again, on the spacing. Oops. I'm trying to keep them somewhat spread out because they do puff up. I haven't seen anybody do Tootsie Rolls yet. I don't know why or if they're just, I haven't seen it. But, and the last, Bit of Honey. These are cut in half. They're Bit of Honeys that I'm cutting up. Oh, that's what I'm doing. I'm just turning them at an angle and there's a hole in the back. That's why they're not sliding in. That makes sense. User error. It's all on me. So this time, I'm not going to put the pillow on because I want to see through the glass and the pillow is optional. Um, so I've got the line, which we discovered last round that I'm a dork. So here we go. We're going to start and I'm going to say they're not frozen. Load food into the freeze dryer, close drain valve. I've already closed the drain valve. So I'm going to hit continue and it's freezing. So from here on out, I'm just going to leave it to do its thing. Um, I have heard that you can do candy on just like a two to four hour cycle, but then I've also heard other people say they just do a full cycle. I'm just going to do a full cycle, better safe than sorry. So from what I've heard, it takes about 12 hours. So the asparagus took about 19 hours. I'll see with this on 12 hours. We'll see how it does. So we'll check on it later. Wish me luck. All right, so candy's done. It took just about 14 hours. Um, I haven't pulled it out yet, but oh, look at them, they're all puffed up. There's all the Skittles are popped. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna open the drain valve. And make sure there's nothing at the end of the hose. Get our air coming out. And all right. All right. I'm pulling the trays out one by one. So some of them broke it. I've heard this happens a lot. You just break them apart. Look at all those skittles. Fun, fun. And then you know, these looks like okay. I may have overfilled the tray. You think? This is the saltwater taffy. I don't think I'm going to be able to stack those on top of each other, so I better. You know what? I'm going to. Those need to be on top. I'm going to put this back in because it needs to be on top. Nope. No. I'm going to put it there. Okay. So let's, let's do the Tootsie Rolls next. So these don't look much different. Interesting. I'll have to bite or cut into those and see. And let's check out the bit of honeys. Okay. Whew. Bit of honeys. Those puffed up just kind of like the toffee. The salt or the taffy. The salt water taffy. All right. Pull out the last tray. <laughs> These saltwater taffies really puff up. Look at that. Oh my goodness. So, lesson learned. Not to put them so close, but they're pretty, wow. They're like, they're like those styrofoam Christmas ornaments is kind of how they feel. Listen. Can you hear the hollowness of them? I guess hollowness, that's a word, right? All right, so now that I have them out, 
going to close the door right here. And since they're all plenty dry, I'm going to click defrost. And it says, remove product from dryer, close door defrost. Oh, I've already done that. All right, so it's going to count down the defrost time. And that's just going to melt. Oh, yeah, there's a reflection. Oh, there you go. You see those, the lines back there? That's the frost on the sides. So it's just going to melt that. All right, so here's the results on the candy. We got, this is how the saltwater taffies ended up. So they're total hollow, they're like styrofoam balls. Um, I'm not a big saltwater taffy person. The only ones I like are the mint. I'm kind of picky that way. But um, I'm gonna bite one just so you kind of get the hollowness of them. They dissolve in your mouth like cotton candy. They, I mean, once you bite into them, they just pout, they just dissolve. But listen to the hollow, like the crunch and stuff. Okay. So I was trying to, I was trying to do it without being like, ah, you know, eating and showing you. But look at that. And it's seriously like, as soon as they get in your mouth and they hit the moisture in your, your spit, they literally just like, Brr. <laughs> it's like, they become this, this just, I don't know, they're just, they're good. It's like cotton candy, you know how it just dissolves in your mouth. That's saltwater taffies. Oh, oh my goodness. And I'm getting powder all over my keyboard. Um, Because they will powder. So if you rub them or anything like that, yeah, they will turn to dust. So if you want saltwater taffy dust, this would be great. Um, or just the flavor of saltwater taffy in something. But otherwise, they are fun. The kids have a blast with them. We did ours whole. We did not cut them at all. So most people cut them in half or quarters. I think in the future, we'll do that. We're going to cut them probably in quarters. And then they'll be closer to like, well, I mean, they'd be a fourth of this size. So I think that would be a little more ideal. So the bit of honeys. This is the bit of honey. Um, we cut ours in half, but I don't think that's necessary. And, I, and if we do these again, I don't think we will cut them in half again. But it's the same. Now these are really good. I'm not, I'm not a big fan. I'm just not a big fan of candy in general. But um, the bit of honeys and, and taffies and stuff, I have a hard time with them because I like I just I feel like they're gonna pull my teeth out. <laughs> so they have to be pretty soft. Um, but these, oh my goodness, they have the amazing bit of honey flavor without feeling like you're gonna lose all your teeth or fillings or anything. So same thing. Oh my gosh, they're so good. They're so good. Because it's got that, that honey flavor. Oh, so good. So these definitely, we'll be making more of these. Um, oh my gosh, I shouldn't have had one. They're so good. Um, next, Tootsie Rolls. Now these pretty much look the same. Like if you just looked at this Tootsie Roll, you wouldn't even be able to tell that it's freeze dried. Um, you can't bite into them like, oh, well, I got a little piece off. They are really hard, but, and even like chewing them, they're like crunchy. But if you suck on these, just like a mint, they will get, what are, what are those mints? They're like butter mints or something where they're hard, but then you suck on them for a minute and it like, they just like dissolve and come apart. That's what'll happen with the Tootsie Rolls. And they... Real strong chocolate flavor. Um, so, if you're wanting chocolate in your food storage, Tootsie Roll would be a good one because you get that chocolate flavor. Um, Skittles. Skittles are fun. There's a reason Skittles are super popular. Let's see if I can get them. When it comes to freeze drying candy. So, look at these. This is um, a grape and a, or, yeah, a grape and a lime. The Skittles will pop open if. If you freeze dry Skittles and they don't get this little white line, they're not freeze dried. Um, one thing that we learned, and I, again, I'm picky, I only like the purple and the red Skittles. <laughs> so if I make Skittles, it has to be one of those two colors. But um, these ones, they're pretty fun. So they, 
they're like crunchy. They're almost like like a a nut or something. Like they're crunchy when you bite into them, but then as you chew them, they kind of get a little chewy, and they definitely have the skittle flavor. Um, if you do a batch of Skittles and some don't have these white lines, it just means they didn't get freeze dried. You can just run them through again, or my kids just pick them out and eat them. We discovered we had quite a few. We had quite a few like that, and um, we um, we just had put too many on the tray. So don't double layer or have have your Skittles too many on a tray one big bag, that big $9 bag of Skittles at Walmart, that about two thirds of that bag, maybe three quarters, two thirds to three quarters of that bag is what we put on a tray. I think we did three quarters and I was thinking next time we'll just do two thirds of the bag. Um, cause it just, most of them freeze and popped up like this, but not all of them. So just don't group them too close. But this one, you hear the crunch and then they're chewy. And maybe that just means they're not freeze drying enough. Ooh, sorry. I feel like I have horrible table manners right now. Um, candy. So there you go. Watch some of our other videos because I'm trying all sorts of stuff. And I have a whole list of fun things that we want to try and freeze dry. I'm trying to swallow it now. Um, Twinkies and Zingers. We did it. Watch for the video because it's coming. And really quick, you can watch now. Thanks for sticking in. Please like and subscribe the video. That's, it definitely helps motivate me to keep doing them. But um, right now, you get to watch the mistake that I made when we did this first batch of candy. <laughs> I hope it entertains you. Do not make the same mistake that I did. Thanks for watching and enjoy. We're ready to do a candy run. Tip, word to the wise, do not place all your taffy candy in the same bowl. So these are Biddo Honeys and we cut them in half and I thought I was doing good by putting them in the same thing. It's only been like a half hour. They're, yeah, they're like stuck together. So word to the wise, I have the same thing for the um, salt water taffy in the same bowl. So next time we're going to wait until we have the trays and put them right on the trays as we unwrap them. Eh, so hopefully you learn from my mistake. Prime example. <laughs> this is the salt water taffy. I thought we were doing good by unwrapping them and putting them all in a bowl so they're ready to go. Yeah, no. It's only been like a half hour and they're like sticking together. <laughs> I have a salt water taffy lump. So don't do this. You, next time we're going to just unwrap them and put them right on the tray.